Welcome to the Peptide Podcast. Today, we're going to talk about the use of GLP-1 agonists for PCOS treatment. Now, polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS, affects millions of women worldwide, leading to distressing symptoms and potential health complications. While various treatment options have been explored, a recent breakthrough has emerged in the use of GLP-1 agonists for PCOS. In this podcast, we'll talk about what PCOS is, common symptoms of PCOS, current treatments available for PCOS, including lifestyle changes and medications, and the role of GLP-1 agonists in this condition. So what is PCOS? PCOS is simply a hormonal imbalance that affects people with ovaries. It affects different parts of the body, including the reproductive system, your metabolism, and the skin. People with PCOS usually have high levels of male hormones, specifically androgens. Some examples of androgens include testosterone, DHEAs, and DHT. People with PCOS also have high levels of insulin. When there are high levels of insulin, it can cause insulin resistance. And this situation is when the cells in the body essentially ignore insulin. And this causes your blood sugar levels to be high, which can lead to prediabetes and type 2 diabetes. People with PCOS may also have irregular periods. This is also due to high levels of androgens in the body. Unfortunately, because of this, PCOS is one of the most common causes of infertility. PCOS can also be associated with sleep apnea, obesity, acne, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol, and it can even increase the risk of depression and anxiety in some people. So what are symptoms of PCOS? Some people may have one or two symptoms, but some people have many more. Common symptoms can include irregular periods, meaning you're missing your period, you don't have a period at all, or you have a very heavy period, and some people have cysts on one or both ovaries. Others may experience fertility problems and obesity. At the same time, others can experience skin problems, such as increased hair growth around the face, chest, stomach, and upper thighs, or have acne or oily skin, and even have patches of thick, dark skin on the neck, armpits, and the genital area. So what are common treatments for PCOS? Lifestyle changes should simply focus on nutrition and exercise. This is because weight loss can lower your androgen levels, improving your PCOS symptoms, and thus lowering your risk of heart disease and diabetes. Weight loss can also help regulate your menstrual cycle, which would increase ovulation and pregnancy rates. Medication options for PCOS include hormonal birth control to help regulate periods and improve acne. It may also include medications that lower or block androgen levels, such as spironolactone, flutamide, and finasteride. These medications can also help with acne and excess hair growth. Metformin should be used for women and adolescent girls with PCOS and type 2 diabetes. Metformin helps lower blood sugar levels to help insulin resistance due to PCOS. It may also help with irregular periods. And some people may require medications that help with fertility. Some examples include clomiphene and letrozole. These medications help stimulate ovulation, which in turn increases your chance of getting pregnant. So what is the role of GLP-1 agonists for PCOS? GLP-1 agonists or glucagon-like peptide 1 agonists like semaglutide are a class of medications primarily used to manage diabetes. However, recent research has uncovered their potential in treating PCOS. GLP-1 is a hormone that stimulates insulin secretion and inhibits glucagon production, thus help regulating your blood sugar levels. In the context of PCOS, these agonists offer several benefits, including managing insulin resistance. So insulin resistance is a common feature of PCOS. It leads to elevated insulin levels in the bloodstream, and GLP-1 agonists enhance insulin sensitivity, thus assisting the body in using that insulin effectively. Doing so in turn helps regulate blood sugar levels and reduces the risk of type 2 diabetes in women and PCOS. GLP-1 agonists also help with weight management. Now, many women with PCOS struggle with obesity, as we discussed before, which will in turn exacerbate the syndrome's symptoms. Where GLP-1 agonists come into play is that they can promote weight loss by increasing feelings of fullness, reducing the appetite, and slowing down gastric emptying. This weight loss can lead to improved hormonal balance and reduced severity of PCOS symptoms. 
GLP-1 agonists also help restore menstrual regularity. Now, as we discussed before, one of the hallmark signs of PCOS is having an irregular menstrual cycle. GLP-1 agonists have been found to restore menstrual regularity by addressing the underlying insulin resistance and hormonal imbalances. This regularity is very important for improving fertility and overall reproductive health. The last thing that I want to talk about in the context of GLP-1 agonists is their ability to reduce androgen levels. So as we discussed, elevated levels of androgen in women with PCOS is essentially what is causing symptoms like acne and excessive hair growth. GLP-1 agonists help lower these androgen levels, alleviating these distressing symptoms and improving the quality of life for individuals affected by PCOS. Thanks again for listening to the Peptide Podcast. We love having you as part of our community. And if you love this podcast, please share it with your friends and family on social media and have a happy, healthy week.